Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and this week's episode is all about Lassen. We are boondocking in Lassen National Forest, in Lassen County, California, and right down the road from Lassen Volcanic National Park. So stay tuned. This episode of Grand Adventure is sponsored by The Dirt Pro. Find the campsite that's right for you, either on the web or in their number one ranked mobile apps. Get extra features and functionality with an annual membership to The Dirt Pro. Try it all for free for 30 days with the promo code Grand Adventure. We've now worked our way from the northern Sierra Nevada to the volcanic tablelands surrounding the southern Cascades of Northern California. Lassen County is logging country. Most of the national forest here is thick, which makes boondocking tough for us as we need an open sky for both solar production and access to Starlink satellite internet to enable us to work for the week from camp. Much of this area was also devastated by last summer's Dixie Fire, which burned an unfathomable area, totaling nearly a million acres, larger than the state of Rhode Island, as the largest single wildfire recorded in California history. So we're not only stymied in our search for a campsite by thick forest, but also by seemingly endless stretches of burned out forest. We found what seemed like the perfect camp spot, situated in a beautiful mountain meadow, However, a forest ranger was less than pleased by our campsite selection and forced us to move. After several hours of additional searching, we were running out of daylight and settled into a snowmobile parking lot before resuming our search for a campsite the following day. Come morning, homie at large kept searching as I worked from the trailer and found what would become our campsite in an open meadow in the Pine Creek Valley. Shortly after our arrival, the local welcoming committee arrived to greet us. Two-legged locals, though, have been few and far between. We've seen a total of two vehicles pass our camp in five days, one of which was a forest ranger truck. There's no one else camping for miles in any direction.
just above our camp is Crater Mountain, topped by Crater Lake. No, not that Crater Lake, but instead an obvious extinct volcano ringed by piles of igneous rock, with a small pond filling the floor of the mountaintop crater. A few miles to our east lies Eagle Lake, the second largest natural lake situated entirely in the state of California. The lake is located in a basin with no natural outlets, thus its water levels fluctuate with variations of inflow. Nowadays, the extended drought in California has dropped water levels to record lows, devastating the local tourism industry that hosted fishermen in search of the lake's trophy-sized trout. There's been no safe place to launch a boat here since at least as far back as 2016. It's going to be quite some time before these lake residents can once again use their docks. Between Eagle Lake and our campsite, a fire lookout station was first established in 1931 atop an apparent shield volcano named Antelope Mountain at an elevation of 7,664 feet. The current lookout was constructed in 1978 as the first solar-powered fire lookout station built in the U.S. Looking westward past our camp in the Pine Creek Valley, the 10,457-foot Lassen Peak volcano dominates the horizon. It's the largest plug dome volcano in the world and the southernmost volcano in the Cascade Range. It's home to Lassen Volcanic National Park. Our video sponsor, The Dirt Pro, affords RV travelers a simple way to plan their camping road trips. Choose your route camping style, driving preferences, and find top-rated camping along the way, either on the web or via one of the Dirt's number one ranked mobile apps. Our grand adventurers have earned a free 30-day trial of all of the Dirt's pro features, including not only trip planning, but also public land and cell service map layers, steep discounts on campgrounds and select outdoor brands, offline exploration without internet access, and more just by using the promo code Grand Adventure. So what do you have to lose? Click the link below in the video description to try the Dirt Pro for free today. Lassen Volcanic National Park is one of the few areas in the world where all four types of volcano can be found. Plug Dome, Shield, Cinder Cone, and Stratovolcano. Starting in May 1914 and lasting until 1917, a series of minor to major eruptions occurred on Lassen. These events created a new crater and released lava and a great deal of ash. Because of the eruptive activity in the area's stark volcanic beauty, Lassen Peak, Cinder Cone, and the area surrounding were established as a national park on August 9, 1916. The area surrounding Lassen Peak is still active with boiling mud pots, fumaroles, and hot springs. European immigrants in the mid-19th century used Lassen Peak as a landmark on their trek to the fertile Sacramento Valley. One of the guides to these immigrants was a Danish blacksmith named Peter Lassen, who settled in Northern California in the 1830s. Lassen Peak was named for him. We're taking a drive along the 29-mile Main Park Road, 
constructed between 1925 and 1931, just 10 years after Lassen Peak last erupted. Last August, the Dixie Fire burned over 40,000 acres within the park. Most of the burned out area is on the east side of the park scenic drive, but occasionally reaches the roadway. As a result, much of the area east of the park road that contains many of the park's geothermal features remains closed to public access. Near Lassen Peak, the road reaches 8,512 feet, making it the highest road in the Cascade Mountains. It is not unusual for 40 feet of snow to accumulate on the road near Lake Helen, the snowiest spot in California, with an average 600 to 700 inches of snowfall annually. Patches of snow here can last into July, and the peak itself is home to 14 permanent snowfields. This is the site of Mount Tahama, a stratovolcano that was a thousand feet higher than Lassen and 11 to 15 miles wide at its base. After emptying its throat in a series of eruptions, Tahama collapsed into itself and formed this two mile wide caldera. This is Sulphur Works, a geothermal area between Lassen Peak and Brokoff Mountain that is thought to mark an area near the center of Tahama's no longer existent cone. Here you'll find active mud pots and steam vents, evidence of Tahama's volcanic past. So we truly hope that you've enjoyed visiting Lassen National Forest and Lassen Volcanic National Park with us. If you like this episode, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. And while you're down below, you're going to find the comment section. And we always love to hear from you after each and every grand adventure that we air every Wednesday evening. We'd be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. But if you're not yet a grand adventurer, this is the time. Go smash that little red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen and ring that notification bell to be sure that you never miss a grand adventure. So until next week, please remember, 
Life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.